Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Thank you so much for being here today and spending some time with me. Uh, we are going to do a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Virgo. Virgo, I'm going to pull, um, and this is for the whole month of December. Sorry, I, I need to clarify that because I do have some weeklies that will be coming out for you. And look for your 2022 predictions. That will be coming out soon as well. Thank you for the likes and subscribes also. I really appreciate it. I have a very small baby YouTube channel and it's slowly growing. And um, I really appreciate everyone that's, that's here and supports. Thank you. So I'm going to pull um, the Good Tarot a card or two. We'll see what comes out. Um, I've had multiple cards come out for <laughs> several signs. And um, I use the illustrations to kind of um, hone in on your energy a little bit better and give me some more details about your story. If for some reason this doesn't resonate, please go check your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, okay? And that could help give you like an overall better message. Because not everyone's going to relate to every video, and that's okay. So for the month of December for Virgo, well, I saw the emperor. He didn't come out. He flipped back in. And I have here the queen of air. And I have the page of earth. I get right off the bat like a mother child uh, vibe. And this, this lady here has an owl with her. Owls are usually intuitive or some sort of messengers. You might be receiving some sort of messengers, messenger, messages from a messenger. <laughs> um, and the page of earth. This is a very young energy and this is like almost like an older energy. She's a mature woman and this is like a very, very young child. I can just see this as like a newness at the end of December for you, Virgo. Something new and grounded coming in for you. Something that's going to take off with these wings. Something that's going to help you fly. Something that's going to maybe bring you some light. You see, there's like no light in this card. It's very dark. And this is very light. The sun is here. I almost feel like this is intuitive messages coming out of the darkness. We're going to see how this plays into the tarot. I'm going to pull some tarot for you, Virgo. Coming out of the darkness, receiving some messages. Temperance, receiving some guidance from your guides some balance being brought back into your life. And there's the sun too in the background of that card as well. Some enlightenment, some in intuitive messages too. You see like the head is, the head is um, sorry, I had to pause the video. The head is like, um, illuminated and the four of cups this is being disappointed by an offer coming in or receiving an offer and rejecting it just flat out and having three cups before you what is this Give me some more for Virgo before we start clarifying. A quick offer coming in. A very fast action oriented card here for you, Virgo. Something quickly changing, something coming in hot, really, really hot. 
it's just some sort of chaos. And the Five of Pentacles feeling out in the cold. What is all this? There's that darkness. Coming out of the darkness. You feeling out in the cold about something. Some sort of chaotic situation that you felt out in the cold in. Give me one more card for Virgo. For December. And then we're going to clarify all this. We have to clarify all this. <laughs> This is some interesting energy. Yeah. The sun. I need to pull one more for you. There's that sun. So that's like the best card you can have in the best position because this is in the end position for you for December. So let's clarify everything in between so we can get... Um, a better idea of what's going on, what's your situation here. And you guys can apply this to love or you guys can apply this to work. You guys can apply this to any aspect of your life. I'll tell you if I see a specific um, a specific message one way or another. If I feel like this is more career, if I feel like it's more love, I do point that out. But these are general messages. What is this temperance? For Virgo, please. For December 2021, you guys, we are at the end of this year. 2021 is almost over. Nine of Cups. Some sort of wish granted. Something coming out from behind the curtains. And this is like you can't sit on this bench forever. This is enjoying your moment, really appreciating your life for what it is. But I feel like there's something coming out from the curtains, something that's going to bring you balance. This hidden thing, this darkness. Yep. And there it is. This is your wish granted your your traditional family life that you wanted this is your this is happiness this is you sitting as the empress virgo this is huge this is the most powerful feminine energy in the deck she is birthing a new life some of you this could be actually creating a family some of you could be getting pregnant or carrying a child at this time or finding out you're carrying a child. But for some of you, that does not apply. It's not going to apply for everybody. But definitely birthing a new life, appreciating what you have right now, Virgo. This is beautiful. And it's oh, something that you wanted. You wanted this. But this is, I feel like coming out from the darkness, this is coming out to you from like the unknown. It's almost like you didn't know you could birth this new life. Where's four of cups, please? Yeah, the ace of swords, having clarity, getting clear on what this offer is. I feel like some of you didn't know this offer had something to do with your, your happiness, your traditional happiness, your Ten of Cups, your fulfillment. I feel like you guys might have an offer had come in and you really didn't give it a second look. But I feel like you're getting clarity on this because then you also have this. You get what you sow. So you reap what you sow, this balance coming in like the temperance balance. This is balancing the scales. This is something coming to you because you've done some sort of good. You have been appreciative about your life and where you're sitting at the moment. And I feel like the universe said, okay, thank you for doing that. We're going to give you what you want now. This offer, though, it's interesting because you didn't see it in this way before. This might be an actual person. 
this offer might be a person. You might not have looked at this person in this way before. You might not have looked at this person as if they, they are a gift. You might have not looked at this job that's coming in as a gift, but that's what it is. This is like the hand of the universe. It looks small in this photo. It's not like this big encompassing hand like, like this one. You see where this hand's coming in. It's like, it's so big, it's in your face. It's not like that. It's subtle. It's small. You might have looked at it as a small offer, but it's not. And I think you're getting some clarity on that. I think you're realizing, oh my God, I didn't realize that this job that's coming into me so quickly or this person that's coming into my life so quickly is what I needed. And I feel like there's some sort of misconception and chaos around that. Let's clarify this. Knight of Swords and Five of Wands, please. For Virgo. This is big. This is huge. This is going to help you birth a new, a new life. This small offer. <laughs> Please don't look over small offers, you guys, because that might be the test in itself. You know, the universe brings us things in small ways sometimes and not in this big, grandiose form. And I think you're realizing that because you do have this clarity that's coming in, this realization. I'm surprised I don't have the tower here. Please clarify this Knight of Swords. Did somebody just flip over? No, wanted to, but did not. Knight of Swords and this Five of Wands, please. Yeah, it's like the end of a chapter, the start of a new one. This is like somebody getting away with something or this can be like thievery, trickery, deceit, trickery. I'm just got, I just like honed in on the trickery. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like you guys almost feel tricked by this small offer. Like you guys didn't realize that this was going to be so big. It's big. It's the end of an old chapter that's going to help bring in a new chapter. Maybe you didn't even see that this was the end of the old chapter, the end of the old cycle. There could be some of you that feel like you're still in something old, but you're not. <laughs> you're not. There's some sort of chaos. What? Tell me what this chaos is around this situation. Some sort of distance. Have the whole world in your hand and you don't even realize it. You don't even realize what you're holding in your hand. Just like you didn't realize what was being held before you in the hand of the divine. You didn't realize that offer was so big. It looked so small. Just like... <laughs> like this world here in this guy's hand is so small but it's so big to have the whole world in your hand to have power in your hands hold up there was a lot of cards here yeah this is receiving that new perspective that's this card here. That's this enlightenment. You are receiving a new perspective. I think you guys are realizing what is here. What is happening? You're realizing that this offer is attractive. This offer that was here before, this might be coming back around. This might be an offer that was here before that looks small. You guys are now seeing... Yeah, what it is, because you didn't see it before, and this is what goes around, comes around. 
feel like this offer that we had been, oh, ooh, I'm gonna have a hard time getting this out. This is coming in very quickly. This offer that had come before that you rejected, that you were not happy with, that you thought was so tiny is coming back around because what's meant to be ours will always come back. These are learning lessons. These are, these are chapters that we have to learn. And when we've learned these chapters, then the chapters can come to an end and the cycle can end. The cycle of repeating can come to an end and we can start a new chapter, a new beginning. This might have to do something with a soulmate or a partnership or a, um, a bond that is strong. There is strength between this bond here, between these two people here. This can be a job offer. This can be Virgo, a um, soulmate partnership. Whatever this is for you, this could go both ways. Okay, but this is coming back around, whether this is a person or this is a job. This is coming back around for you. This was meant to be yours. Yeah, look, you felt like you were out in the cold. You felt like you felt like the sun was never going to shine again. You thought your life was so dark. You you got enlightenment in your dark place. This is healing. This is healing after a situation. You felt burdened. You felt heartbreak. You felt like you were all by yourself. You're not alone. You felt like this was not going to come back. I feel like many of you rejected this offer, rejected this person, rejected this job offer, okay, whatever this is. And then you guys realize afterwards that it was bigger than you thought it was going to be. It was coming back around again and very, very quickly. And I feel like you need to get out of this, get out of this, get out of this. And I feel like it's saying that you are now healed or you have been healing from feeling burdened, feeling alone, feeling hurt. You are healing from that, Virgo. <laughs> I just heard, I feel young again. One of you just, just, felt young again for a moment or getting out of feeling this way is helping you maybe even physically when you're mentally clear it's helping you feel even physically young again and happy alive like you could fly yeah death of this old this old way death of this old situation death of this rejection of this offer Please clarify a little bit further. Any other advice for Virgo, please? This offer is coming back around. What is meant for us will always come back around. Sometimes we just have to wait longer because we rejected it before. I think you, you know now what an empress is. I feel like you know now what the Ten of Cups is. And I feel like now you see it. You want it. You're grabbing it. You're not letting it go. Because you have a yes. You have a yes. This is for you. You're going to feel that sun on your face. You're going to feel that rainbow over your head. You're going to have a smile on your face that you can't get off. You can't take it off. Your muscles in your face might feel so, so, so tight and tired from smiling. I feel like at the end of December, beginning in January, you are going to have so much to smile about, Virgo. Because this is coming back around again. This person, this offer... And that doesn't mean if it's a person, it's a person you already dealt with. This means it's a person, a soulmate, somebody that you are meant to be with. Yeah. Moving away from this negative thinking. Moving away from feeling burdened. Moved, moving away from not accepting beautiful offers. Moving away. 
There's a death to all this, yeah. Death to the negativity. <laughs> Whatever toxic, negative, uh, dark situation you were sitting in, you're receiving clarity in the darkness. You're coming out of this. You, you're receiving downloads in the darkness, or you have received downloads in the darkness. I just had a whole bunch of cards fly out. What is this? Having strength after a hard situation. The Hierophant. I mean, this could have to deal with an actual person. You actually might be getting married to this person. Oh, wow. You have a lot of tens here. This is you get feeling in your head about this hurt, this painful situation. But this is a ten. This is the end of this painful situation. This is you getting out of your head. Getting out of this painful hurt. Letting this go. This might have dealt most definitely with a person. Somebody that you... Somebody that maybe you rejected in the past or had rejected you. But the universe has a bigger plan for you. The universe has a lot of plans for you. <laughs> the universe is bringing you something that you like, that you're attracted to, that you really, really, really want. Like, that you really, really want. This could be a person. This is planning. You're, I said it before, the universe is planning. Has a lot of plans for you. This is the divine having a plan for you. Okay? Your, your perfect counterpart is coming in. Somebody's going to make you stronger when you're together. Okay? This is you being able to balance and have both both worlds in your hands. That that person that had the world in their hands. You're you're going to feel like your hands are full. You're going to feel fulfillment. You're going to have to maybe juggle both your material world and your 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 relationship. Because the universe is bringing you, it looks like everything on a, on a platter. I mean, this is something that's going to last for generations. This, whatever this is, if I see both things on the board, you guys. I see love and your material world. I see both a traditional family life and also your material life all coming in. And it's a yes. You have the sun here. It's a yes. You're going to feel that warmth. You're going to feel young again. You're going to feel like you could fly. Congratulations. Congratulations, Virgo. Virgo, this offer is coming back to you. You have freedom of choice. We all do. Will you accept it this time around? I feel like you got clarity on this situation. You know, you know what it is. You know what's coming in towards you. You'll be able to recognize it. Will you accept it? I think many of you are. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you enjoy tarot, if you enjoy oracle readings, if you enjoy artwork, please subscribe. I'd love to have you back. Um, please drop me a comment if it resonates. If it doesn't, um, no problem. Check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. And I will see you guys on the next one. Look for your weeklies and also your 